Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and to do a quick video to share with you how to use our narrative timeline pack for DaVinci Resolve. This pack contains over 50 different assets to help you display chronological events and steps easily on screen. You have a fully built-in timeline template that you can use as well as some complementary assets to help you customize them further or build them directly from scratch. So if you're ready, let's jump right into it. All right, so you can purchase this pack on our website. Once that's done, you will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You got the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file to install, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because the sheet will not know what font to use. So just select all the font and double click on them to start the installation process. Once that's done, you can select here the DRFX file and double click on it as well. That will prompt open here that pop-up. I have already the pack install so it's offering me to overwrite it for you just click install then once you're in davinci resolve you're gonna find it in here your edit page you can go over to effect titles visitor studio and then here you can just open the drop down and scroll all the way down if you have multiple uh, pack offers already installed until you find the narrative timeline pack as you can see here there is another drop down i can open it and i have multiple sections we have composition and we have individual assets. This composition section contains 35 different timeline titles that you can use. Uh, there is some that are curved, some that are horizontal, and some that are verticals. They will pretty much all share the same functionality. They will just uh, differ into the display, the layout, and sometimes the amount of point. You'll see that most of them will have the common trait to have only up to five points, and a couple of them will go up to 10 points. Let's start up by bringing an horizontal one in our timeline so we can quickly see what we can do with it. So I'm going to drag it here in my timeline. As you can see, that's a five point timeline right here. So that means that the maximum point count is five. We can select anywhere between one, two, three, four or five points. If we play it by default in my struggle a little bit because those titles are pretty complex to make them very functional. So when you play them right away, they might not get a real-time playback. So what I will suggest is here to go over to playback, run the cache, and then here instead of none, select smart. It will bring in your timeline here, that bar that will turn from red to blue. And when that bar is fully blue, that means the title has been caching and you will get real-time playback. So as mentioned, all of the titles are pretty much sharing exactly the same type of functionality. You have two type of things that you can do. You can adjust the animation timing and you can adjust the look of that timeline. So generally, what will be at the top of the inspector right here will allow you to control the timing of the animation as well as what is at the bottom here. And all of the drop down here will help you to modify uh, the aspect of the title. So first off, you can choose the amount of points that you want to display. For example, here, if you want to display only three, you can select three. Then you could adjust the point spacing for it to fill the screen properly and have exactly the same kind of spacing between each of the points. Uh, you could also adjust the angle of the line in that case, where here we can have it being a diagonal instead of something straight. We can control the overall size and position of the entire composition. We have the header right here uh, if we want to get completely rid of it we can just delete that uh, but you can also you know control uh, the font the colors so on and so forth even here you have the ability to add some more styling to the text so for example here if i would like uh, to have the text standing uh, up we can just uh, go here to text box toggle that on and then here we could change the color to something like gray for example and that could help us to have that text popping up a little bit more now if we want to have it to the side we can just adjust the position and here we go we've already made um you know a bunch of change to this to have a different layout compared to what we started from with this and this just in a few clicks now we can also uh, make some adjustment to the line. So right now, if that's a bit too thick, for example, we could make that line thinner. We can also change the color of the line. We have then the point. So same thing here. We can just reduce, for example, the point. If we want to have them being more discrete, we can change them from circle to square or diamonds. 
We can adjust the overall width or the line or completely remove the line if uh, we want. We can also adjust the overall position of all the points by moving them, uh, you know, closer or further from the beginning. Uh, we can, again, you know, reduce the point spacing as well. And we also have the ability to uh, switch the position of the overall callout. Right now, for example, um, the first one is at the top. If we want, we can flip it and it will appear right here at the bottom. And that's the same for all of them. So here, if we want to flip this one as well to have it at the top, we can do that. So uh, in the case you want to have everything at the top, you can easily do that or you can flip everything at the bottom. So most titles will share uh, that functionality. Also, again, same thing here with the style. You can have um, a box or an outline if you want. So here, for example, instead of having the box, we can select the text outline and our text will be outlined. Uh, right here or we could have instead a box outline and now we will have an outline on the numbers so there is really no limitation on the customization aspect you can do quite a lot of things with them to make it fit exactly uh, the look of your project so that's for the overall customization of the look of the design now for the timing of the animation let me just bring into the timeline uh, let's say another title so i can show you what you can do with that so for example here we have five different points let's say i'm gonna extend that title right here and i would like to have the three point coming in uh, at the beginning of the title and then having some time elapsing and after that, I want to have the fourth point and the fifth point to come later on. We can have that much control right here uh, in the inspector. First off, right now, if we are playing the title, as you can see, we have everything coming into place within one second. You can adjust that to be either faster or slower. So right now, if we want it to take three seconds instead, we can just select three seconds. And now as we are playing it, it will take three seconds to complete. So it's going to be a lot slower. So as mentioned, if I want to have only three points coming in at the beginning and then four and five, what I would do is here select my three points. So we're going to have everything coming out at the beginning with three points. Then I'm just going to make a cut wherever I want my fourth point to be coming up. Here on my first section of the title, I'm going to switch the animation out to off. And so now we will have everything uh, staying on screen. If that was on, on, as you can see, we'll just save the screen. So we just want that to be off. And then on the second section of the title, I'm going to switch to individual and I'm going to switch to four. That way we're now going to have the fourth point coming into frame. And we can just continue to do that. For the fifth point, I'm going to just let sometimes ellipsing and then I'm going to make a cut again. Same thing goes, I'm just going to make sure to have the animation out here as off. And then here on my fifth point, I'm just going to select point count as five. Now, as you can see, as I'm playing it, we've got the first three point coming into frame. Then we got sometimes elapsing. Um, we'll then going to have the fourth point coming up right now at the cut. Again, sometime elapsing further. And when we're going to arrive at the fifth cut, we're going to get the fifth point coming up. So that's the main functionality of this pack and that's why it's so versatile. And again, each of the timeline will share exactly uh, those functionalities. So the curved, the horizontal and the vertical will all share those functionalities. Now, generally, the only way in which they will differ is here into the customization aspect, depending on the style of the design. For example, in this one, we have a bunch of loader because we can load some images. So here, for example, you'll have the ability to go over to timeline point icons and then here you would be able to just um, browse and load uh, any image that is available on your computer and it will bring it in like so you can then modify the alpha position and you'll be done now if you need to bring a further customization to uh, a certain timeline that's where the individual assets are coming into play so we have an entire section called individual assets with different category we have annotations Callout points, line elements, lines, and multi branch. You can basically combine all of those different assets to create your own timeline from scratch if you want to, or you can use them as complementary assets to just point out certain area in the timeline or just like enhance a certain part of it. 
For example, let's say here I'm having uh, this timeline right there. I'm having a few steps. So here from one to five, let's say I want to highlight the steps that is in between one and two. I want to have like 1.5. Um, what I could do is go over here to either the collide points or the mid branch to add another point right in the middle. So here, for example, I could just go and take multi branch uh, number 04, drag that in extend that to the length of my title and now we'll have first the entire timeline uh, coming through and then we have that new branch that can be created right here so we're just going to make a few modification first off here i want to flip it so it's appearing here at the bottom so i'm gonna go and flip it vertically we can then take the overall size and position and just move it uh, down like so. Right now, I want to be a bit more precise. So I'm going to adjust the individual point itself by going here to a line. And then I have point zero right here. I'm going to adjust the Y axis. And we're going to have that about in the middle of the 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So I'm going to just recenter that properly. Now, let's say this is a bit too far so i want to just bring that closer so we're going to do something here with point one which is the end of the branch and we're just going to drag that uh, closer now we can rename that uh, 1.5 for example i can go over to number select here 1.5 we can then uh, reduce the overall size because right now it's way too big to make it match right now i'm gonna switch popping from regular to probably bold italic so it's matching what we have right here and then now i can just switch the text to whatever i want so i can go over to text right there this is uh, an extra step we can obviously change our font we can change the overall uh, size if we want here to have a box we can just scroll down to the style switch that to number three text box toggle that in and then here we can change the color to be let's say a gray or whatever a color we might want so very easily now we have our timeline coming up and then we're gonna have all multi-branch highlighting that specific uh, part of the timeline those branch can also be stacked and used with each other to just create more complex tree so you know you can have uh you know multiple branch all at once uh, the cool thing with it is let's say here we have like all first text then i can just stack up another one of that title um now we can choose instead of having uh you know angle we can have curve or we can have straight and now we can move the position of that point so we're going to drag that down and so we can create basically here another branch i can then for example duplicate the first one that we add and then we can flip it as well and now we have again another branch now here i might need to make some adjustment so the point are like fully aligned here we go uh but now basically we've created like a three branch type of title so here you could create completely stuff from scratch using, for example, the combination of the annotation and the branch and the different color point, for example. So how can you create your uh, timeline from scratch? Well, you have first to start with a line. So you have two choices for the line. You have either a simple line or a line with already an element built in. So the simple line is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can just bring that in your timeline. That will be, uh, you know, the base of your title. There is a bunch of stuff that you can adjust from it animation the scale the looks so on and so forth but it's uh you know pretty straightforward there is nothing crazy about it uh but then you can go here and add either the multi-branch to just build uh you know some call out out of it or here you have a call out and point so you could easily take here for example that call out and then having it aligned uh, properly here on your main line so i can just drag that at the beginning align it properly on the line and here we go now we have the line coming up and then we have a certain point. Now you can just combine those to just uh, create differentiation between, for example, certain part of the timeline. So here we can use another callout, do the same thing right here, bring that on a specific part of it. And again, now you have basically full control over the timing of each of the animation coming in and the type of point that's gonna come in. So that can be really helpful to just, you know, explain as something that is happening through time or like a step-by-step -step type of process. As well, there is here some annotation that you can use, for example, at the top of your title to explain what that timeline is actually about. So we could here 
having that right above or on their composition, explaining uh, what this is all about. Or you could reduce them to use that as uh, extra text here to display things. For example, here we get uh, August uh, 2012. Now we could just take that, reduce the overall size, drag that right below August 2012. And now we basically have a, a subtitle explaining what might be happening uh, in August 2012. And we have that right here. Now we also have a line that have direct element already built in in them. So for example, here, if I take that first line element, as you can see, now we're gonna have the line showing up and the first point uh, coming into frame. Now you can use those to create basically your own timeline and just uh, stack things up. So here we can, again, flip the point if we want to have it either on the left or on the right very easily. We can also adjust the horizontal or the vertical axis. So again, you have a lot of flexibility uh, with that. So now if I want to have, you know, our first point being all the way at the beginning, I could just have that right here. We can then make any customization to the design. So here for um, the shape, for example, of the point, we can switch from circle, square or diamond as well. We can change the color, so on and so forth. And now whenever we're happy with the design, we can then just uh, copy it to the track above. And now we'll have another point coming into frame. We can then adjust obviously the position of that point. So it's arriving uh, wherever we want here on the line. And so we can continue to just stack those up to create a timeline that is as long as we want it to be. The goal with this pack was to give you as much flexibility as possible to create interesting timeline um, and being able to adjust the timing very easily. So here you can start from basically one of those compositions that we have, and then you can continue to just build them up with the individual asset or create them from the ground up uh, from the individual asset. And that's pretty much it. I think that covers everything. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to try it out, there is a free sample that you can download and uh, experience for yourself. If you want to get this back, it's available on our website. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.